Hi, I'm Kristen. I'm a Zoe Life health coach, author, and speaker, but most importantly, I'm head of her in love with Jesus. I am passionate about helping people live a healthier, more fulfilling, purposeful life. I just see our bodies outlast the calling that God has in our lives. If you're interested in growing deeper in your relationship with the Lord, simply interested in spirit, soul, body, wholeness, and fullness, or just these choose life choices, these small tweaks that I recommend that will position yourself to receive more of God's blessings, then I'd love for you to subscribe to this channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about sustainable weight loss, and that's what we all want. And this is still in this food freedom series. Again, that first video, um, diets don't work. That's not sustainable work and weight loss. Second video was really addressing why you eat, whether it's kind of greed, lust, idolatry, poverty mindset, catching into the why and start now turning into the Lord with it. And so you can catch that again, sustainable weight loss is having that awareness. Awareness is the first step for change. And then the third video in the last video, I talked about just a simple thing you can do is see if you're in a place of receiving food, as in your good, good father providing for you. He is a provider for your life, for your wants and your needs. And so positioning yourself, are you doing this? Or are you like, no, I can take it for myself. I've got it from here. I'll just have a little bit more, whether it's lust, greed, but for whatever the motivation is, but again, you're not in a place of receiving, you're in a place of taking. And then finally addressing that and being in a place of receiving also will give you sustainable weight loss. I promise you that small little choose like choice, that little tweak absolutely will give you a lot of mileage for 50 years over your lifetime. Today in today's video, again, sustainable weight loss is doing things with the Lord. The verse I want to offer you, it's second Corinthians three seventeen. And it's for, for where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And I really want it to encourage you so much of my conversation is yes, that spirit, soul, body integration, and we can't have spirit, soul, body integration without inviting the Lord in this part of your story. And it's so interesting to me that as I've talked to people for some reason, when it comes to weight loss or their bodies, um, number one, they're really hard on themselves, whether just in the mirror hard on themselves or comparing themselves to others in a magazine, probably a brushed up person, or just, I don't know, social media, whatever, wherever they see somebody else to compare themselves with and be harsh on themselves that way. Either way, they feel like it's on them to lose this or get this done or get a control on food or just get a handle of it. It's this I mentality. It's this me focused versus this we mentality. And that is the partnership, the choice. It's a choice to do this with the Lord, to really get in a place of communion or co-union or just conversation or in that place of intimacy. And whether it's putting your hand on your body and dialoguing with the Lord, not in a place of criticism or judgment to your body, but in a place of Thanksgiving, dialoguing with from a place of Thanksgiving, God, thank you so much for my legs. I have done so many years without an injury. Thank you so much for my arms. Just in a place of Thanksgiving, thank you for every aspect of your body. Thank you for my digestive system. It is running smoothly or, you know, thank you. Just in a place of Thanksgiving, not in a place of comparing and contrasting, for sure, because that is too much judge judgment and criticism, either on yourself or somebody else, so whether you're less than or you're be better than, either way. But just in a place of Thanksgiving, uh, what is working for you? And just even that one lens can, again, help you with sustainable weight loss. And I'll talk about that place of Thanksgiving for your body in another video. I'll just go that, down that in another time. But specifically for this video, I really want to encourage you to invite God into this story. I invite God into the struggle, not in a desperation and a plea and anger. Ah, oh, this isn't happening fast enough, but in a place of, Lord, thank you for this. Thank you for everything that's working, but I'd like for your help. I've realized I'm trying to do this on my own and I'm really hard on myself. And I want to have sustainable weight loss, no matter the season, whether you're having babies or losing baby weight or approaching menopause or on the other side. And that's actually just talking to women 
that we all have so many different seasons of our life. Of course, our muscles may atrophy if we're not being consistent and exercising and building up that muscle. And so how that can decrease your metabolism, just having your muscles atrophy. And so for whatever the reason, whatever the season, just begin bringing him into it, saying, I know I really can't have to be successful at anything, fruitful and profitable at anything, unless I invite you in it. So that's the Choose Life Choice I'm offering for you today. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Invite him in. You will start to see things unlock, break free, pounds on your body, things in your heart, things in your mind that absolutely have to go because they do not agree with what he thinks of you. And he is truth. So if it's not agreeing with him, or with the Holy Spirit, and what he thinks of you, it's a lie. And so like going of the lies, like going up what's false. And as you let go of that on a heart level and a mind level, even some pounds is even connected to that because yes, we're a triune being, we're spirit, soul, body, we're not just body. And so they are connected. They are interlocked. So I love you. Choose life, find freedom, take territory. This is how you connect to the Zoe life, the abundance for your story. And by Zoe life, I'm speaking to John 10, 10, Jesus's desire. He says, the enemy comes to kill, still in the story, but I've come that they may have life and life to the full. So if you need help with anything, email me, hello at kristenmarie.com or at the Facebook community, private Facebook group that you would love for you to join. It's Choose Life Community, and we can dialogue more and absolutely get you unstuck. All right, I love you. I'll talk to you soon.